America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing the Quasi War with France. The Quasi War was an undeclared war between France and the United States fought in the Caribbean and along the southern coast of America between 1798 and 1800. It resulted from disagreements with France, including French privateers attacking American merchant ships. President John Adams, wanting to maintain our neutrality, refused to declare war or recognized the United States must defend its ships and its right to freedom of the seas. The immediate need was to rebuild our Navy, which had been disbanded after the American Revolution. On April 30, 1798, Congress created the Department of the Navy and appropriated funds to finish six frigates which had been authorized in 1794 but never completed. This new federal fleet was further augmented by privately owned warships. Altogether, Benjamin Stoddard, the first Secretary of the Navy, created an American fleet of 25 fighting vessels. On July 7, 1798, Congress authorized this new United States Navy to seize French ships, marking the official start of the Quasi-War. Recognizing our fleet could not patrol the entire Atlantic, Secretary Stoddart concentrated its efforts in the Caribbean, where most French privateers were based. The American ships outclassed their French adversaries in virtually every encounter. Over the course of two years, our Navy lost only one ship in battle, and that one we later recaptured. Despite America's clear superiority in combat engagements, we lost about 2,000 merchant men worth approximately $20 million to French privateers. Our limited number of ships simply had too much sea to patrol to prevent significant losses. Next week, we will discuss the end of the Quasi-War and its aftermath. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.